This tutorial will provide you with the steps on effectively setting up your metadata on the Canon EOS 5D Mark II digital SLR camera, specifically including the photographer's name and copyright information. Note that these values must be set using the Canon Utilities bundled software located on the EOS Digital Solution Disk version 22.4 that came with your camera. This information will remain set until manually revised, thereby simplifying the data input process for the photographer. The camera data placement will make the data populate inside of Photoshop in the Author and Copyright fields, then in Saxotech in the Photographer and Copyright Notice fields, followed by Ellington in the Staff Member and Credit fields. Note that if the photographer's name is not in the staff member pull-down in Ellington, the name will be parsed to the one-off photographer field. You will want to begin by installing the Canon Utilities bundled software found on the EOS Digital Solution Disk version 22.4. Insert the disk into your computer's CD-ROM. Upon insertion of the disk, it will show up either on your desktop or in your device's pull-down. Double-click the Canon EOS Digital Installer. When prompted to select the area in which you live, Select the USA, Canada, South America button. Then select the United States when prompted to select the country in which you live. Then select the Install button located underneath Digital Camera Software. For your installation type, you can go with Easy Installation. Then go over the Software End User License Agreement and select Agree if you agree to the terms and regulations of the agreement. You will then be directed to the Starting Installation page where you will see the destination of the software on your computer upon installation, as well as the programs to be installed. Select the Next button, which will begin the installation process. Once the installation process is complete, you are now ready to launch the software to input your metadata. To do this, connect the camera to your computer using the interface cable IFC200U that came with your camera, and make sure to turn the camera on. The Canon Utility EOS 5D Mark II window will automatically launch on your desktop. Select the Camera Settings Remote Shooting tab. The EOS 5D Mark II window will open, giving you access to the camera settings and metadata. Select the yellow tool button. Then select the Author tab, where you can now input the photographer's name. Press OK when you have completed this section. Then select the Copyright tab and input the newspaper's name. Press OK when you have completed this section. The metadata you have provided is now saved in the camera and will be attached to all of your photos, and this information will carry over to Photoshop, Saxotech, and Ellington. For those of you who use Photo Mechanic, let's briefly go over the workflow as it differs slightly from the former. As you can see Photo Mechanic here with a photo that was just loaded from a shoot, none of the IPTC fields are populated. The two fields of importance here are the photographer and copyright fields. This is the implementation of a stationary pad which generally includes the photographer's name and copyright data. Since the IPTC data isn't loaded from the image into Photo Mechanic, you will need to use the stationary pad or manually input the data into those two fields in order to ensure that the data properly loads into Saxotech and Ellington in their correlative fields. If a photo from Photo Mechanic is loaded into Photoshop, the photographer and copyright fields map to the author and copyright notice fields respectively. The author and copyright notice fields in Photoshop map to the correct fields in Saxotech and thus Ellington.